The idea of Manchester United is to decide with Diallo about the future. If he is uh, the best option for him is to stay at Manchester United at least for the first part of the season, for the pre-season, and then to see what's the best way to, to decide his future. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. As always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Joao Felix. I have an update for you, for Chelsea and Atletico Madrid fans, about the Portuguese star. Also, something to say on Manchester United and one player who is now on loan and also a player who is at PSV and Rouen but is doing excellent and there is a close in the contract, Xavi Simons. Let's jump into it. To <laughs> And so guys, I wanted to start today's video with an update on Joao Felix to clarify a bit the situation around the Portuguese star, an important player for Chelsea, but he joined on loan from Atletico Madrid, no buy option included in the deal in January, that was a very fast deal between Chelsea and Atletico Madrid due to injuries, Chelsea wanted to be fast in that moment when also other clubs were interested in Joao Felix, but what I can tell you right now is that from my understanding, Chelsea board, and I underline board, because we still don't know who's going to be the the coach for next season and that's going to be an important factor but discussing about the board what I heard is something really positive for Joao Felix because Chelsea are thinking of next season as planning for potential uh, team next season with Joao Felix included so Chelsea want to keep Joao Felix they are very happy with his performances with his attitude with his mentality so the idea of Chelsea is to continue with Joao Felix in the squad uh, the idea on player side is the same because Joao Felix will be happy to stay at Chelsea from what I understand he's happy with the squad he's happy with the city he knows that was not an easy moment to enter into Premier League football but he's very happy about that so Joe Felix would be keen on staying at Chelsea Chelsea want to keep the player what are the points now two crucial points the first one the new coach so let's see what the new coach is going to say about this situation of Joe Felix and the second thing that is a really important thing is the agreement between clubs because Atletico Madrid want important money for Joe Felix uh, they always wanted something around 100 million euros let's see how the negotiation City uh, between between, uh, Chelsea and uh, Atletico Madrid will go in uh, the next months but the idea of Chelsea is to meet Atletico Madrid and to discuss about Joe Felix because they want to keep the player so this is the idea today let's see how the negotiation will be and what the new coach will think about the Portuguese star so Important to say that Chelsea are happy with Joe Felix's impact, waiting also for the Champions League nights to see how it will continue between Joao and Chelsea after an expensive loan, because it was more than 10 millions for Joao Felix. I also wanted to up you guys on a player who is on loan from Manchester United to Sunderland and he's doing very well and he's Ahmad Diallo Manchester United invested important money in summer 2020 October 2020 to sign the player from Atalanta he's now performing at very good level they're very happy with him at Sunderland but also I'm told in Thailand and Manchester United they think that the choice to keep the player at Sunderland on loan in January not to recall him because this was considered as a possibility in January at the beginning of January for Manchester United but then at the end together with Eric Nag, they decided that the best choice was to let Ahmad play all the games, be an important player for Sunderland and then have him back for the pre-season in uh, the summer. The idea of Manchester United is to decide with Diallo about the future. If he is uh, the best option for him is to stay at Manchester United at least for the first part of the season, for the pre-season and then to see what's the best way to, to decide his future or if a loan again could be a possibility. They will discuss with Amad Diallo and with his agents at the end of the season. Now they want the player to be 100% focused. He will be back to Manchester United in the summer and Eric Tenag would be crucial for the season because Tenag is taking care also of this kind of decisions together with the board of course but Tenag is 100% involved for Pellistri new contract, for Amad Diallo, all these kind of things are absolutely crucial and Tenag will have a final say also on Amad Diallo future. And then discussing about talents, Xavi Simons, he's doing very well with PSV and Owen, they signed him on permanent transfer last summer on a free transfer from PSG, but PSG have a clause included into the contract to recall the player this incoming summer. What we can say about Xavi Simons is that there is this clause to call him back around 12 million euros for Paris Saint-Germain. PSG want to recall the players, so PSG are convinced that they want Xavi Simons to be part of their project for present and future, but it's also up to the players. So PSG will have to speak 
with uh, Xavi Simons and of course with his agents to decide what's the best option because at the moment the player wants to focus on the pitch on PSV Eindhoven he's very happy on how PSV Eindhoven trusted him in the summer they're always playing him Ruth van Nistelrooy is doing an excellent job with Xavi Simons to develop him but in the summer will be time to decide because PSG want Xavi Simons to remain in their galaxy and so let's see how this conversation with the player will go and so, guys, let me know your thoughts on Joao Felix. Good idea for Chelsea to keep the player or not? I want your opinion as always. Also important, guys, your opinion on Xavi Simons, on Amad Diallo. I wait for you in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Good